Hey guys, how's the game? And I'm Phil in the Blanks, so and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We are in the year 1000. We got a new party here. We got Marley, Magus, and Ayla. On the left, you can see what I have equipped for them. Ayla, calm down. Um, last time, we talked to Toma, and he was out to get the rainbow shell and give us a can of pop or whatever uh, to pour on his grave. And guess what? The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. Also, it's cool that they gave him a last name. And he dies in year 634, so. Spent his whole life searching for that rainbow shell. So well, let's uh, do what he asks us to do and pour it out. I do like how they changed the spread on the tombstone, too. Very cool. And because magic bullshit, here's Toma. With his great mustache. Marley, long time no see. Come on, you're dead, dude. Don't, don't hit on me now. I've located the rainbow shell. It's in the Valley of the Dead. No, it's not true. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. And just in case you have no idea where Northwest is, it just shows you. I mean, to be honest, chances are you've probably already been there if you've been just exploring around and saw a cave. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. And off he goes. I guess he's done what he needed to do, and that's let us specifically know, <laughs> you know, where the rainbow shell was. You guys are a riot a minute. See ya. It's like, okay. <laughs> Toma... <laughs> You weren't really a big important character, so it's kind of funny that the game really treats him like super like, oh my god, poor Toma. It's like, I don't know, we saw him like three times. So anyways, back in the Middle Ages. Woo! And... There we go. It's kind of weird how this entire island's not even there in the year 1000. This is a fairly lengthy side quest, so um, we're going to try to see if we can do it, the whole thing in one episode. So this episode might go a little bit longer, but not a big deal, right? Right. Hey, look, a note. Toma's crumbled note. Those holes, what if I jump into them on purpose? Yes, I start at the beginning and. And then I just stopped writing. Oh my god. We are clearly in the Tyranno lair. So, not great. A prehistoric castle. Lavos fall in Tyranno lair buried underground forever. Well, not forever. It's here now, Ayla. But yeah, this is uh, the Tyranno lair kind of, um, you know, back. So, there's dinosaurs in the year 600. Um, probably should have brought, oh, no, no, I was going to say I should have brought, um, uh, Chrono, but I got Lightning, too, with, uh, Mega, so definitely cool. Yay. I'm assuming these are much stronger versions of, nope, maybe they're the same as, uh, the ones from, uh, from back in the day. Probably not. Wow, at least there's electrical damage already. Does that mean I can't do much damage? No, good, good, good. All right. Yeah. Yeah, if you have Chrono, I mean, he's not, it's not the worst thing to bring him with you, obviously, because he's very powerful with lightning abilities. Oh, that Doom Sickle or whatever it is that I have on Megs is just awesome. <laughs> but yeah, these three are characters are three of the only characters that are three, three of the last characters that don't have their ultimates yet. Which way should I go? So I figured I'd bring them along. Oh, these guys be very careful. They actually absorb lightning, so do not attack them with lightning. Anything else is better. Probably Ice 2 would be a decent idea. So, but yeah, I figured I'd bring them all along. This is technically Marley's side quest, believe it or not. Um, I guess Ayla sort of ties into it because of the whole dinosaur thing, but believe it or not, this is this is Marley's side quest. So, figured we'll have her along as the lead party character. Megs is great to have anyways because of, you know, his magic and because I need to teach him a lot more. Uh, magic or uh, attacks because he's still missing uh, three of them dark mist black hole and dark matter I believe is his final one and Ayla I mean I need to get triple kick, kick with her and she's just powerful so she's a good stand-in for chrono I have her with the uh, what are they called the sun shades or whatever just because the 25% damage man that's one of the best things in the game hooray and we got dark mist which is basically shadow 2 let's go up here I don't really know which way to go but um, ooh, nice. I can save here if I want to. Why not? Yeah, saving. And battle. Damn! A lot of new prehistoric enemies. Fossil apes. These guys usually aren't very um, susceptible to magic, so you should be careful with that. Um, tailspin. See how much damage it does. These guys like to counterattack a lot of times too. So, oh no, don't throw me around. Okay, good. But if you throw me and I'm gonna be at a place where I can't use tailspin, that would suck. And yeah, not great damage. It really is only good if I guess there's a lot of people around you. Jeez, Marley. Wow, that was actually really impressive damage. Like really impressive damage. So bravo. 
Wow, Magnus is like dead. I've not been paying attention. Oh, well, one ape down. That <laughs> nice miss. Use some cure too before Magnus dies. Oh wow, yeah, they're doing a lot of damage with those throws. Holy nuts. Pretty crazy. But Marley is a great healer. She can't do multiple uh, target healing, which is kind of a shame, but not not too crazy. I mean, not a big, big deal. Ayla can technically heal if you really need to, but whatever. And finally dead. Nice. Yeah, Ayla and Marley are not too, too far from their ultimates. So, oops. Oh, I guess that doesn't really do anything. Oh, no, the cat! Oh, God! No! That makes me sad. Get this. Nothing. Alright, I guess that was for nothing, then. Oh, well, I fell. Oh, well, I guess that's where we're supposed to go. Um, do right again. Damn. Damn. I'm actually surprised the amount of uh, different enemies there's been already, to be really honest. The usual full screen attacks. Kills them, basically. Always good. Pretty sure that's all the new enemies in this area, so not too bad. Let's heal up a little bit. There we go. And here, what we got? Another thing that doesn't really do anything, but we do have a tab, so. Power tab, always nice. It's like a retread of the Tyranno Lair, definitely. Except with a lot of little little area, like the Reptite Lair at the same time. It's kind of cool. Wow, there's a lot to, it's a pretty big area. Nothing here, oh, nice. Power tab, two power tabs, nice. Let's give them both to Ayla, why not? If you're doing a lot of, um, like, if you're planning on doing New Game Plus stuff, don't give her, uh, don't give Ayla any power tabs because she's able to basically max out the, um, the stat by herself by leveling up. Same with Magus with, um, with Magic. Don't give him Magic tabs because he's able to fully get a 99, uh, by himself just by leveling up, so. I'm also not doing any, um... New Game Pluses with this specific... Oh, we got the Blue Rock. This specific uh, file, so I'm just kind of having fun and kind of doing things just for this file. Uh, what goes up? Must have come down? Oh, and this will go back to the start. Um, I'm going to explore a little bit. If this doesn't do anything, I'll meet you guys right back here. Okay, yeah, so that just leads you right back to the beginning, and you can't kind of go back from there, so I had to make my way around. The blue rock we found, by the way, is another one of those triple tech moves uh, that three specific people can do. Uh, it's not Marley. I forget who this one is. Blue rock, blue rock, blue rock. Silver rock? Who's the blue rock for? Oh, blue rock. There we go. So it's Magus, the Omega Flare. Okay, so that's, um... I think that's Robo, Magus, and, and Luca. Pretty cool ability, but I mean, I don't find any of those triple techs really worth using. They're very, um, very strange that you'd need something for it. Ooh, a Zodiac Cape. What does that do? Mad Defense plus 10. Wow, that's really good. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I'll use that Magic Defense for now. I'll be switching everything to, um, fire-based stuff anyways. The boss of this area uses a lot of fire, so definitely want to do that. Yeah, I think we're just about there. Eh, regular guys. Be right back. Alright, we're pretty much there. We're getting there anyways. Nothing in here? Nothing I can open? Alright. Then up we go. That was a tab there, though. So that means I don't want to come back. Maybe this isn't almost over. This is, uh... Surprised how long this is so far. Oh, new enemies here. Oh, we're not gonna fight them? Hello. Rubble. Oh, it's a rubble. Holy crap. Wow. I did not know that. Well, it's a good team to have uh, to have with me. Get the rest of our techs if we can. Oh, that's going to kill him. Yeah, there we go. 1,100 and nothing yet. 
must be getting very, very close for Ayla and Marley. Not sure about Magus. Magus learned Dark Mist um, earlier, so... Nice. Wow. Very easy. No misses in at all, I don't think. Life 2. Triple Kick. There we go. They are nice and packed with text. That's awesome. And what is here? Oh, no. We fell. And over on this side now. Man, this is a big windy area, eh? Get you. Thank you. Um, I do want to see... Oh, my God. Which way should I go? I do want to see what was on the other side there. Whoops. <laughs> Get into the mouth, Phil. Skip you. I don't like the apes. They counterattack too much. Oh, cool. Just a frenzy band. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, frenzy band I actually really want right now. It's an 80% counterattack rate. I'll equip it right now. Normally, I, I'd rather have the sunshades anyways, but... Ah, damn it. Well, I'll be right back. Yeah, like I was saying, normally I'd have the Sunshades on there uh, and not the Frenzy Band, but we're going to be fighting a boss where counterattacks are probably going to be pretty good. So, oh, I do have to go all the way around. Damn, I'll meet you back uh, when I fell down that hole. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely one of the larger dungeons in, uh, in a side quest. Usually they're not this big. Oh, we got to save point because we're basically at the end there. Let's use a shelter. Um, switch up your party if you really want to right now. I'm... Probably good with the way I am. Uh, gonna use some fire-based stuff, though. Yeah. Magic defense and regular defense are gonna be down for that, but my fire defense is really what I need. I believe. I'm, I'm like, really worried I'm misremembering this, so if I am, whatever. Not a big deal. But if you want to bring someone, like, super strong in place of uh, Marley and use, like, Chrono and whatnot, uh, it's not really a bad idea, but we're gonna go with our party right now. See what happens. And hello, cute Tyrannosaurus. Funny part is you can just kind of walk by him. Eh, no, that's not true. You get up. Oh, you have to go to the other side. You get up around here and then you do fight him. So, yeah. I do like how he lets you kind of try. So, yeah, here is the Rust Tyranno. Oh, no. Scary. And, uh,. Just go crazy on him. He's already, um, let's see what works. He's already got his uh, defense lowered, so just go after uh, at him, basically. I kind of want to see what things are going to be powerful. Let's use Cube Toss. You can Charm him, but it's like a specific male. I forget which one, but not incredibly important. We're at that point now where we got everything we need from most enemies in terms of stealing. It won't be until the, uh, the uh, Black Omen where we need to. So 2200, not amazing. Definitely not bad, though. Dark Bomb did, what, 700? But I also have um, Triple Kick, which is uh, Ayla's ultimate. Let's use that. It's three, I think it's like three regular attacks or something like that. Let's see how much it does. Yeah, five, five, five. So 1,500, but a lot more MP to be used. But we also don't have to work for, wait for Marley, so, yeah. But Tyranno, or sorry, Rust Tyranno has 25,000 HP, which is definitely the most we've seen uh, in this game so far. But still not crazy. Um, we've definitely seen crazier, basically. Keep using triple kick, why not? Why not, right? Gonna haste up uh, Magus. He is definitely our damage dealer right now because of the amount of MP he's saving. Uh, he's casting so little. Um, I just hope he keeps roaring for a little while. He pretty much just does this the entire time. It's get ready for that one very strong move. And then hopefully get some counterattacks with Ayla, because why not? An extra 700, right? Marley's just going to be there to cure everyone after the big move. She's not much of a damage dealer. She, ne she never becomes a damage dealer. Like, she gets ice and whatnot, but like, ice 2 is the strongest single person ice move, which is very weird. So, there's not like an ultimate ice attack in this game other than like, ice water or glacier with other people, so... See how much Ice 2 would do, actually. Actually, I probably should have hasted <laughs> Ayla, but whatever. Feel free to use a shield, or is it a barrier on people? That way, oh, actually, I don't have enough. Um, I guess just a regular now, unfortunately. But, I mean, a regular attack's still quite strong. She counter oh, she, um, critical hits a lot, so. 
yeah, not a crazy hard fight, just takes a little while because the amount of damage you need to do. But he's all, probably only be, gonna be able to get the one hit against me, so it's really not that big a deal. Um, let's haste Ayla. It'll give me plenty of time to heal afterwards, so... Especially if he just goes right back into this, but I think he starts attacking normally. After he does this big move, so... We should be fine. Come on. Whoops, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if I'll be able to beat him before we even use it. Probably not, I'm not that strong. And definitely this is one of the longer and more intense side quests, so I could have come here later in the game and uh, been a little bit stronger. But you're at a point now where most of these side quests aren't going to be too difficult. So I'm able to like kind of explore what I'm doing with my characters a little bit more. You know, just have fun, use the party members I want, instead of just like, oh, you should really use this party because the only way you'll get out of there without, you know, killing yourself, it's too hard, you know, nothing like that. One more? Yeah, I can get one more round of attacks. He's probably going to use it, like, directly after Ayla's attack here, unless I've killed him, which I doubt it. Oh, nice critical. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, here's some more fire. Did you like fire? I heard you like fire. Oh, that's so nothing. Wow, that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to do at least... I forgot that I've got, like, healing fire things on me. Yeah, this this makes this fight incredibly just almost pointless. And then we beat him, so we all had, like, the two attacks. And then he would have died anyways, so yay. And poor Tyrannosaurus. I really like him. And there he goes. Oh, wow. But, the good thing about that is, he was guarding the rainbow shell. Yay, we did what Toma couldn't, and he was a professional treasure hunter. What a cuck. Rather drab, isn't it? You're being sarcastic, Magus? <laughs> Look how fluorescent it is. Heavy, heavy, can't carry. Castle people help? It's weird how specifically she wants the castle people to help, because she's near 600, not near 1,000. Oh, I guess, she, no, it's the 600, yeah, never mind. She's, she's got the great idea. Ayla's much smarter than me. Oh, wow, they just do it again. Damn it, what a waste of time that was for me. Um, what I like about this, though, is that instead of you having to go and do it all yourself, as you leave, the game actually just fades out and does it for you. And I'm like, that's really clever. Thank you very much. Hello! You're always welcome here. What can I do for you? Well... I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell here, safe here until the next century, right? And I was like, how the hell did you guess that? I didn't even tell you yet. <laughs> I ask for the sake of Marley. Please carry out the request. Done! I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. It looks like a coily poo. Night, Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. Alright. <laughs> the night captain's had enough of this shit. At once, sire. Yeah, grumble, grumble. Thank you, your majesty. And Queen Lean, too, of course. And, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's gonna be a national treasure of, of uh, the Kingdom of Guardia, and that's just really awesome. It's gonna be on my table. For some reason, my wire to my controller was underneath my table leg. Uh, and that's not the end of the side quest. That is the beginning of this. Oh, I mean, that's the first part of it, I guess. I have no idea where we are on time. Uh, if for whatever reason 20 minutes has already passed, this is the end of the episode. See you guys next level! Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.